Good afternoon, Colorado. Welcome to today's episode of Local Biz Buzz. I guess we can call it even a Taco Tuesday edition because mm. what's more taco than green chili? Mm. I'm your host, Larry Hurst. Mm. Today in studio, I have David from Stinking Good Green Chili. Welcome. Hey, Larry. How are you? Thanks for having me. So this is a legendary company. If you guys don't know the story, you're about to hear the story. Uh, he has a partner. There's my neighbor. And I, uh, I'm really honored that you guys came Who's in. Who's your neighbor? Mark Schlereth. Oh, Mark Schlereth. There's that guy they call, they, they call him Stink, right? Yeah, why do they call him that? Um, well, it's actually an old fishing story. There's the real story behind his nickname, but a lot of people think because he peed his pants. Before when, the game, during he, the games, when he right? he played in the NFL, which he does not, he actually confirms. So, so that he did or he didn't? He did pee his pants. Yes. He, he openly admits that he peed his pants. So, Regularly? So or we just were, like once? Uh, well, you know, you'd have to ask Mark <laughs> okay. that. But, and we were dumb enough to put that on our food product called Stinking Good. So <laughs> and somehow it's working. It's somehow it's working. 15 years today, we are to market. So let's let's hear about you, a little history of you. What's your background? Well, Larry, I'm an old restaurant guy like you. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I grew up in Colorado. I'm a native here. Right. And my dad got a recipe from this lady who was this Hispanic gal for green chili. And my dad started making green chili at home. And I fell in love with it. And, um, and then I was in the restaurant business right out of college. And then I found a couple other recipes of green chili that I liked. And I kind of put them all together. And this is what we have today. And every time I made it, people were like, you should sell this in the store. It's really good. And then I met Mark his last year with the Broncos and started bringing it over to his house. And he fell in love with it. And one thing led to another. Here we are selling it in King Supers and Costco and online. And it's actually a business. So, Does uh, the lady, is she still alive? Does she know that it's like kind of her recipe? You know, I don't know. <laughs> You know, that's a good question. You, you is know, your dad still around? You know, my dad passed away a few years okay. ago, and he actually thought it was his recipe. And one day I had to pop his bubble and say, Dad, <laughs> here's your recipe, and here's my recipe. He's like, oh, okay, it is your recipe. <laughs> so, but it's all good. So the first product was, what, a mild? The medium pork the was medium. our first product here, yeah. So um, that's our right. best seller to this day. My personal favorite is this hot pork. I like a little more heat to it, but I still like to taste what I'm eating. So I call that a gringo hot. Okay. You know, I used to like it so hot that I couldn't taste anything yeah. else for like an hour and I'm just not there anymore. So that to me is the perfect amount of heat. <clears throat> well, on a scale of one to 10, what would you call that? Mm, you know, that's a hard question. Everybody's got a different scale. So for, for a gringo. For a gringo, it's probably a seven maybe. Okay. Um, you know, there's people that tell me they think ketchup is spicy. So yeah, I'm just sure. like, you sure. know, like, I can't help you there. Yeah. And then we came out with the chicken green chili. We actually, remember Trevor Price who played for the Broncos? Sure. He lived in Lone Tree also. We made that, mm -hmm. I made that green chili for Trevor and we took that to market too because a lot of people just don't eat pork. Sure. You know, so we did the chicken. Um, and then we came out with a queso blanco. Which, which I've I, not tried yet, and I, I am oh, definitely no, taking I one of these home. Brought some of that. Whether you like it or not. Okay. I should have brought some of that heated up. So those are frozen right now. But um, So we sell it frozen in the Mexican section at King Supers. And the reason why it's frozen is because when Mark and I were kind of putting it to get working on this, we're like, we don't want to put this in a jar or a can because it's just not going to taste the same. And we didn't honestly know what the shelf life was going to be. Okay. So we're like, let's just put it in the freezer. And um, that way we don't have to worry about throwing it all away after a month if it doesn't sell. And, you know, Terrell Davis had his barbecue sauce and McCaffrey yeah, had his mustard. mustard and yeah. so Mark did his green, the green chili. And, um, you know, so that's why it's frozen. Because we wanted it to taste as fresh and homemade as we could and not put it in a jar or can. And that's still why we're frozen today. Costco does sell it in the deli, though, uh, just the medium pork in a bigger container. And we're in all the Colorado and New Mexico Costco, so. What kind of price <clears throat> are we looking at for the small and the large? This guy at King's is $5.49 for all of them across the board. Um, and then the big 30-ounce tub, which is two of these, is uh, $8.99 at Costco. Shane, look at, I'm going to show you so they can see this is one that's not frozen, obviously. You can see just the... The chunks of the pork and the green chilies in there. You, are you getting that good? Mind if I have a little while we're here? Yeah, like that's. I think you need a bigger spoon though. I'll be back that in a few spoon's, minutes. <laughs> that spoon's kind of small. 
That's amazing. Let's go, Larry, go, pound it. <laughs> I mean, perfect timing. We got Taco Tuesday. Right. We got Cinco de Mayo. We got Mother's Day. Yeah, yeah. This, so, is, this is something you can make mom in bed, right? This is my favorite breakfast recipe that we have. It's on our website, stinkinggood.com recipes. It's a green chili eggs benedict with, um, there's, you can't see it underneath there, but there's a, a big, thick cut sourdough bread toasted with some fresh avocado, tomato slices with that egg on top, and then there's some chorizo and pico de gallo, fresh grated pepper jack cheese. And then before you take a bite of it, Larry, okay. and obviously our green chili's on there, yep. um, you gotta get that lime wedge and squeeze that lime juice okay. over the top of it. And that just pulls it all together. So this is a great way to start Cinco de Mayo. This is a great breakfast in bed for mom for Mother's Day. Um, and you can actually go to the original Pancake House here in the Tech Center. There's two locations, and they sell a version of that. I gave Sarah that recipe, and it's one of their best sellers. And so. they're using your green chili. Yeah, and our course, uh, our queso is in Coors Field. So if you're down at the Ro watching the Rockies play, you're probably eating our queso over your nachos. So everywhere where you get queso, it's your queso in Coors Field? Yeah, they just don't tell you it's our, okay. our queso. So. Do, they, do they say it at uh, Pancake House? Do they say... Stinking good? They, they actually sell the green chili at the Pancake House, too, these tubs. So, yeah, so they promote us well. They're, they're nice. wonderful, yeah. And you've got exciting news, <clears throat> and you got a deal for everybody today. Oh, yeah, so what we're doing for all your listeners today, Larry, is um, if you go to the link on, your site, on the site that you're watching, click on that, and you're going to get, if you live in Colorado, fill out that form. You'll, it'll enter you for the giveaway and the prizes we do. But we'll also send you a buy one, get one free container. So you can you can get two for the price of one. So just fill that info out. And then if you want to place an order online today, um, just go online, singgood.com, place your order, and then put OCN Eats as the promo code. And then we'll send you an additional container with your order of green chili or queso. So you do, you do shipping? We ship it anywhere in the lower 48. We ship it in coolers with dry ice and gel packs and... Yeah, we ship it out every Monday, so it's a big part of our business. What percent would you say? Ah, uh, you know, it's probably twenty percent. You know, amazing. which is pretty decent. Yeah. yeah, you know, I mean, it's it's pretty pretty good. Um, and what is there a minimum on that for shipping? Uh, you know, if you just go through, we have right now a ten pack, so it's a great value on it. Um, so you can freeze it and have enough for about a month or so, unless you're like me or you, I eat a container of this a day, so. <laughs> It wouldn't last long, you know, green chili is the perfect food. So yeah, like you guys got to catch Larry eating that. Yeah, break that yolk there. That's where the magic happens. Oh yeah. When you mix that with the green chili, with the chorizo, with the pico, that's food porn right there. That is food porn. What's your website? Stinkinggood.com. Great recipes there. You can find out more about our story. Yeah, you're making a mess. <laughs> it's awesome. Well, you got to make a mess. What did we forget? I don't know. I don't think we forgot anything, did we? No, I feel good. I just want you to taste it. Want to wish it. Mark uh, good health? Yeah, Mark had a heart surgery. Otherwise, he'd be here today. So I'm, I'm filling in. I'm the guy behind the scenes who gets to, to do uh, wear all the hats. And uh, Mark's the pretty face and name. And great guy. Blessed to be in business with him. And we're having fun. So... Thanks for having us. Too. My pleasure. Pleasure to meet you. It was fun. Get this stuff. Uh, go to Costco for Cinco de Mayo. You can't beat this. Or for Mother's Day, make these eggs for your for your mom or your wife. Uh, we'll be back for what's for lunch tomorrow. Mm. Let's eat. Enjoy. Mm. I'm just gonna take a bath in this. <laughs>